What's up guys? My name is George Ramirez. I am the Chief Creative Director and Founder of Stay Grinding Supply. So basically how I came up with the name, man, I mean, my backstory, I mean, I'm just going to, I'm going to be so brief. Um, I've been representing clothing brands and uh, basically selling merchandise, you know, marketing since I was like about 15 years old. You know, you could go on my personal Instagram, J Grinding, go all the way to the beginning and you will see my life because that's been the same Instagram since I started my sophomore year of high school. So, I mean... You can go and you can experience. You can literally see for yourself um, my whole life on Instagram. So um, stay grinding, right? So the way I created this business, the way the way it, it got put together was um, obviously the greatest rule of all time is find a problem, you know, and you find a solution. The problem I seen was you know a lot of people, a lot of people were quick to say what they want to do with their lives. You know, they want a Bentley, they want a mansion, they want to be rich, you know, this and that, millionaires and, you know, this. And it's kind of like, okay, cool, but what are you going to do to get it? You know what I mean? Like, what's your plan? You know, you're going to go to college, you're going to be a doctor, you're going to be a dancer, you're going to be an entrepreneur, you're going to be an engineer. What are you going to do? You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, i seen that problem. You know, i seen it in myself. You know, I remember uh, I... I tried to learn how to play the guitar and I bought a guitar and everything. My mom helped me buy a guitar and I gave up on it like in a week. Yeah, you know, I didn't want to grind for it. I wanted to be a good guitar player, but I didn't want to grind for it. I didn't want to put in that extra work. You feel me? And that's a problem. That was a problem right there. You know what I mean? And same thing in basketball. You know, I played basketball two years of high school. I wasn't I wasn't good. But like the reason why I wasn't that good was because I noticed looking back, I didn't want to give it my all. You know what I mean? If I, like, I, I noticed that like I would give up quick, you know, or like I didn't want to work hard, you know, at that specifically. I see that my brother, you know, my, my brother, he does want to go and play, you know, in, in, in college football and stuff. And he is talented, but like, you know, I don't see his every day, every day, you know, when I when I get out, or like when I go home and he's like, he gets out of school and stuff and I look at him, I don't see that drive, you know, I see a kid just wanting to play Xbox. So it's kind of like, okay, if you really want to go play for Oregon, damn it. Like, work for it today. Like, today. Like, right now. Like, go for a run. Watch your diet. Go work out. Go pick, get some friends to throw you some balls, you know what I mean, to, to practice your catching. You know, stuff like that. So, I seen this problem, you know. And my solution was, okay, I got to step up and I got to be a leading example. I got to be my walking billboard. And I got to grind. And I got to do it every day. And I'm going to show people. I'm going to support people on their grind and I'm going to inspire them using the word stay grinding in streetwear fashion to grind for the next level. Yo, this is my boy Nigel, Just Be Dope. Hey. Always representing, always showing love, man. You stay grinding. Why you stay grinding? You just be dope. You know what I mean? So why you stay grinding, you just be dope. And why you just be dope, you grinding and grinding and dope. And it makes you get Being consistent is one of is one of my biggest keys, man. Like keys to success, you feel me? I mean, being consistent is is everything. I feel like, you know, that backs you up. Being consistent, but going back to the question, you know, what keeps me motivated and being consistent is where I want to be in the next ten years, twenty years, thirty years, forty years. You know, I feel like being consistent is the main thing you should worry about. Like you should wake up. And think about it. if there's something you know, like if you want to be a skater, you feel me? You should wake up every day like, okay, what am I gonna practice? What am I gonna learn? This and that, you know, so on and so forth. And if you really care, you know, and I feel like this is something you can't teach. But if you really want to do something, if you really want to achieve something, consistency is just natural. Like if you want it bad, you will be consistent. You will do it every day. Nobody has to tell you like, hey, get up. We got to do this. Like, damn it, bro. If you want to lose 100 pounds, you don't need a partner to be like, hey, did you eat? Did you watch your diet today? Like, nah, like, what the hell? Like, if you really want to lose that weight, you're going to lose that weight. And you're going to do it every day. You're going to stay on that diet. Yeah, you might have a cheat day once a week, but you will stick to that cheat day once a week. You know, you will make sure that you achieve because you're really passionate about doing that. I came in with that. Um, okay. 
well, the world is now going to know what are my hobbies because I really don't, I keep my hobbies really to myself. Um, I consider hobbies to be things that relax me, you know what I mean? Um, like when I have so much on my mind, um, I enjoy skating. I love skating. I grew up skating. I've had a skateboard since I was like in third grade. I'm not saying I'm the best skater. I'm not saying that like, you know what I mean? But I mean, I do got tricks under me. I enjoy it. You know, it's fun, it, 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 and it, it also helps me with hard work. Another hobbies that I have is I love music. I, I absolutely, if you know me, you know I'm a music head. Like, I love, I love music. So um, I've been picking up DJing, like that's, that's out there now. But uh, I, got a, I got a turntable, I'm about to pick up a mixer. I've been practicing my mixing, you know, transitioning songs and stuff, creating my own mixes. But yeah, I'm gonna be hitting the, the I'm gonna be hitting that, you know, I've been practicing my scratching. You know, big shout out to DJ Reckwell, FYR, Zikram, Andy Mack, you know, oh shit Oscar for kind of, you know what I mean, um, giving me that, that helping hand when it comes down to this DJ stuff. And, you know, I'll be in the club with them and you won't see me on the desk, you'll see me in the back, you know, like watching them. Like I'll be watching like literally what they're doing and, and, and noting it, like I swear, like I'll be like noting it, like, okay, you know what I mean? Like with the, with the mixer, like the fader, and, you know, the whole, like the whole process lowering down the bass and from the transitions to the song choices to the beat tempos. And I'll be taking all that in, man, because I mean, I try to be the best that I can be at anything I attempt because I love listening to music because that is one of my biggest inspirations. I love looking at, you know, looking at documentaries and stuff. I mean, I guess you consider that a hobby because I, I watch a lot of documentaries and interviews like Big Boy and, you know, Breakfast Club and all that, you know what I mean? So Sway in the morning, so it's like, I, that's probably a hobby. Um, other hobbies, I mean, I love working on cars, uh, uh, like custom wise. Uh, I'm about to pick up another another Civic to work on. You know, I'm, I'm pretty excited, pretty excited to do that. You know, that that helps me with my creative. I read a lot. Yes, I fucking read. Okay, I read. Um, I'm reading a book called The Power of Broke. It just came out this year by Damon John. Oh, man, I mean. All I gotta do is call my mom right now. If I call my mom and put her on speaker and be like, Mom, defy me, she'll say I'm a crazy ass, fucking energetic, like hard headed, like um, attention person. I mean, like, I was just crazy, man, like rebellious. <laughs> well, I think at this point, I risked it all. I risked it all. Um, I feel like the risks I face, and I'm gonna be all honest, I mean, I am 120% confident in myself. I believe in myself. I, I have faith, have a lot of faith, and I know God has my back. But of course, who isn't afraid of failure? Like, who doesn't have nightmares? Like, what is a dream without a nightmare? Like, how can you see the difference between good and bad without bad? Like, you wouldn't know what good is if there was no bad. So my risk, like the risk that fears me is yes, it is it is failure. It is failure. Like of course it is. I'm not saying that I believe I'm gonna fail because I don't believe I'm gonna fail. But the reason why I don't believe I'm gonna fail is because fucking failure is like the biggest risk I got. Like yes, I'm not in school. Like yeah, of course I'm not gonna have I don't have a degree to back me up. That and, and then with that being said, you know, my back is against the wall. When when you when you've sacrificed it all. When you have nothing to lose, you know, there's no other way. There's no, there's no other place to go but up. You know what I mean? Like, this is basically the bottom for me. You know, like, I, I, I don't, I don't drive no fancy vehicle. I don't live in no mansion. I don't have anything under my name to lose. You know what I mean? Like, all I got is my phone bill and stay grinding basically. And it's like, I have nothing to lose because I've risked it all. You get what I'm saying? In that way. And that, with that being said, I'm sorry, I am going to be successful because that is the only place I can go. Yo, shout out my boy, I told you Pops, Roberto. If it wasn't for this guy, I think I probably wouldn't be really where it's at. Meeting the people that we met, this dude right here. But I love my big brother. Yeah, man, I mean, stay grinding at the end of the day. It's all about supporting and inspiring people to grind for the next level. That's why I chose the name. And of course, it's not literary. It's keep grinding. I understand, okay, guys? Like, shit, I'm not stupid. But I, I like stay grinding. I like the way it sounds. I like the way it flows. You know, so, I mean, I know that it's not stay grinding. But, 
that's the name of my company, alright? But yeah, that's why we chose the name, that's, that's the mission, that's why it was created. <laughs> Working on a scholarship, that's right. Visiting colleges, oh whoa, probably wasn't made for me, not me. Even though I paid the fee, bounce back, yeah, hopscotch on the beat.